Let's queer up the world view. History was made as Estonia becomes the first former Soviet nation to have same-sex marriage. Same-sex couples in Estonia are now able to legally get married. The former Soviet nation's new law went into effect this week. The country's parliament voted for the change back in June, making Estonia the first Soviet-era Baltic country to allow same-sex couples to legally marry and adopt children. Kaio Sumout, and I apologize for the pronunciation, Mr. <laughs> Sumout, uh, project manager for the Baltic Pride Festival, feels that this decision will help the world to see that Estonia is a part of Northern Europe. For the LGBTQ, for the LGBTQ plus community, it is a very important message from the government that says, finally, queer couples are as equal as other couples, that they are valuable and entitled to the same services and have the same options. Same-sex couples are now able to register their marriage applications. That means the first marriages will likely take place from early February. A survey published in May 2023 by the Estonian Human Rights Center showed the country's perception of LGBTQ plus people has shifted in recent years, with 53% supporting same marriage equality. Meanwhile, Russia, another ex-Soviet country, banned what they called quote, international LGBTQ plus movement, end quote. This was the latest step in its years-long crackdown on gay and transgender people. Human Rights Watch says 34 countries have marriage equality currently, including all of North America and much of Western Europe. In June, Czech Republic moved a step closer to joining the list, while India and Japan have both seen controversial court rulings denying the change in the past year. Mm -hmm. And oh, actually, well, they, well, uh, I think the, uh, we forgot to mention Thailand, which mm. has also passed same-sex marriage with very little opposition, mm -hmm. but uh, the process is still ongoing. There are like four bills to put, uh, to legalize same-sex marriage, and they basically need to do the consolidation thing to merge right. them the one bill and then read it again and yeah. so it shouldn't just happen by next it's it's gonna happen it's and been passed i think that's fantastic congratulations estonia and yes estonia always have this well i mean the baltic countries lithuania latvia and estonia has always been more as, as, as aspiring for to be closer to the scandinavian neighbors than mm -hmm. to the neighbors to the east yep. and this is going to make some Russians very mad because uh, Russia has been hinting that, you know, after Ukraine, you're next. And oh, yeah. Well, they no, haven't been they, hinting at it. No, it's they, a veiled threat without the veil. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, Putin is all threats anyway these days. Oh, yeah, tell, and, well, tell that to people of Kiev. Yeah, I know. And, uh, the, and the thing is, uh, well, Russia using us as... Uh, as a piñata is nothing new, the dictators mm -hmm. often, dictators and autocrats often use marginalized community. And these mm -hmm. days, especially the LGBTQ plus community, mm -hmm. you know, in Africa, don't ask the president how long he has been dictator, uh, how long has he has been a dictator. So he points to the LGBTQ plus community right. and say, you know, beat them instead. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. This is a, I mean, I think it's a welcome win and it's a, it's a, <clears throat> it's a like a F you to Putin basically, yeah. you know, it's particularly because it's an ex Soviet Union mm -hmm. uh, nation. And so I, I'm excited about this and it's, I'm, I'm glad that they've done this. And I think that we're going to start to see even more of this, um, more pushback against, um, the dictator Putin. I think that's mm. the back. I think that the, that's the backlash. For example, Poland, the conservative side just lost the yep. lost control of the government, yep. and uh, and I think this is representative of what is happening in Eastern Europe, where as people are being more and more concerned about Rush undue Russian influence, right. and mm -hmm. right. when they say undue Russian influence, we mean conservative activism mm -hmm. they are you know so yeah. conservative religious activism yeah, yeah. conservative and, religious activism right. that edges them closer to closer to moscow instead right. of closer and right. closer to brussels yeah. and so the people use their voice and vote yeah. and right. turn the and turn the tie back but right. there's still a long way to go we now have hungary which oban is you know victor oban is mm -hmm. doing or sorts of shenanigans oh, as a member, of, yeah, 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 really, yeah, as a member of EU, trying to veto anything that would be anti-Russia, and then, of course, the war is, and then, of course, there are legislators in this very country that we live in that are using 
Ukraine as a bargaining chip because instead of helping other, I mean, we have two, we're supporting two countries at war right now. One is getting a ban check, the other one isn't. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. question. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very scary stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you 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 know, we you work in the arts? I You're, do. Um, writing. Mm -hmm. So much like we, we call it the will and grace effect. Now yeah. that we're 25 years into that era. How do right. you think the way we portray ourselves ourselves in media, the way when like this is an LGBTQ plus company produce a show produced by LGBTQ plus the same for you? How do, how important is it that, that we are representing ourselves finally? I, I think it's extremely important and, and especially being trans because for so many years uh, there has been straight uh, writers and producers and directors, uh, you know, representing trans people in a completely awful way. Yeah. <laughs> And clueless, yeah. like completely, and profiting, and profiting, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, making so much money, and right. that's why with me and Candace Kane, mm -hmm. my sister, my transhuman sister, uh, we did we we formed Marriage Mary Production because, and we want to include, hopefully, when we get to a point where we're successful enough to start going out there and scouting and bringing in young people that have amazing ideas mm -hmm. you know all of us lgbt plus ally you know and that's our goal so they you know we can have more diversity in within the lgbtq plus uh community mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah I th and i think we have a long way to go for all of us mm -hmm. amen uh, yeah, we really do. We do. And it's what's critically important is and I, we at Pride Lines work with youth and um, it's important for them to see themselves. Exactly. See the picture themselves. Yeah, exactly. They already deal with enough um, yeah. challenges um, and you know, obstacles. obstacles. And so to and, see themselves, and, mm -hmm. yeah. they can envision themselves. And the side yeah. eye, Absolutely. you know, all that. They need encouragement. Absolutely. They need support. And yeah. that's what, you know, we want to do. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I was just yeah. going to close it out with just saying, and, you know, ways that you can help and support. Uh, always, maybe if there's a business that you know is owned by an LGBTQ plus yes. couple or a business that's owned yeah. by a trans couple or yeah. a trans yeah. person of color, always yeah. put that above any sort of... Yeah. You know, Fridays or something. Yeah. Right. Right. And, you know, like that. We, use Wilton Manors as exactly. the, because most of our bars and restaurants are owned by that. Exactly. So we should bring more light to mm -hmm. the community that we have yeah. here. You know. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, Candace is coming on the 23rd. Uh, we're having a big party for Secret Garden on the 28th at No Manor. Um, oh, but oh, we, we also want to do an info commercial called The Diaper Doll Ooh. Trans Guard for the girl on the go. Let me know. Let me know if you need a DJ. Yeah, if you need a DJ. Will I cover that story? Well, yeah. it depends. <laughs> no! We're doing okay. it. Um, I, okay. Yeah. We'll talk Bobby, after. Bobby, yeah, um, um, very succinctly um, explored the politics of Eastern Europe, which is, which is really what this story is about. This is Estonia saying, please pay attention to us. Look at us. Please, because they know they're next. Putin has made no secret of the fact that he wants to move from Ukraine and go right back into Lithuania, Estonia, and Latvia. He said he's going to do it. There is no reason to not believe him. If someone tells you who they are, believe them. And that's who Putin is. And this is Estonia saying, yes, we are here. We are going to be on the side. They want to be aligned with Brussels and uh, NATO. They want to be part of the EU and they want, they're a small country. They're about the size of this round table, but they are an incredibly important ally for not just us, but for Poland, uh, for Denmark, for re yeah. really, they're a, bul a bulwark against the, re for the rest yeah, of Europe. Exactly. We need to support them. Our, our, okay, our right. queer brothers and sisters across the continent are under fire because um, there's a, a fascist government in Italy. There is a, a very strong conservative push going on right now in France. Um, somehow Germany is, remains one of the most liberal uh, places in in the, the, the world. So they've learned their lesson and they've gotten right. So, yes, thank you very much to Estonia for doing this. And um, and remember, they're the ones bring, they're doing it themselves. They're bringing marriage equality to themselves. And remember, it's marriage equality. Our marriages are exactly the same. They are equal. They're not same-sex marriages. They're the same as 
straits. It is marriage equality, and we must remember that. Don't let them other us by saying, well, there's marriage and there's same sex. Estonia is leading the way in Eastern Europe on this issue. So let's support them in equality, marriage equality at every level.